is about how to use breathing to stretch your upper back. So for a lot of neck pain patients or shoulder pain patients, basically we talk about the space between the shoulder blade and the rib cage has been quite closed down, especially for those who have what we call scapular winging, meaning the shoulder blades stick out. So this quote unquote stretch is to free up air in that space. Now, next is gonna turn around. So pretty much you find the shoulder blade. Next is a perfect example because I've been nagging him about his shoulder winging, you know, hey. So from here, we're trying to get air into this space. Again, in the Hilbert, is this guy. So we're gonna demonstrate how, okay? So Nick is gonna get on his hands and knees. Now from here, make sure, again, knees directly underneath the pelvis, wrist directly underneath the uh, shoulders. Make sure your, the fold of your elbows are facing forward. From here, push your chest away from the ground. You should feel like the shoulder blades are being spread away from each other. Maintain this pressure on the elbows and the shoulder blade the whole time. From here, keep pushing. You will take a, you're gonna take a, a breath in. As you breathe in, reach across. You will, when you reach across, you are trying to, quote unquote, open more space up in this area. So doing that breath in, you're trying to basically, quote unquote, stretch this area. As you breathe out, put the hand down, but keep pushing yourself away. Breathe in, reach across, breathe out, hands down, keep pushing away. So every inhale, you tap, and every exhale, you try to reach, you try to push yourself away even more. Maintain the pressure on the weight bearing side the whole time, and you should aim for stretching, or the sensation of stretching over here. So please do the number of repetitions I told you in the clinic.